Hi guys, you're back again with the Vape Invader. So, I will warn you, strap yourself in, it's going to be a long one. There's 12 bottles to go through. It's by all vapes. I will apologise because you will find some of the bottles look a little bit janky. It is because I was given these for the review and I had them in a carrier bag and a bottle of water leaked. The only thing that's ruined is the labels, everything else was still sealed. So I'm still going to do a review, but a couple of them, if the bottles or the labels look a bit janky, they wasn't given to me in that way. That's not how yours will come. So just letting you know. I'm not going to mess about, guys. I'm going to straight go into each flavour. And when I go off and rewake, I'm just going to pause the camera, come back. Say, right, I've rewaked. I'm not going to try and keep this as short as possible because there is 12 flavours. And I don't want to go over and over and over and over. So I'm going to straight into it. We're using the Voopoo Drag. I am using a clone. Judge me if you like. It's a clone of the Narca. Um, I've switched it up from the Nudge 24 just because it's a little bit smaller, a little bit easier to re-wick. Nice and quick. And the flavour's pretty damn good on it. So, we are juiced up on that one. And it is the Lemon Tart. We're starting off with the Lemon Tart. Which is a Lemon Tart buttery base with lemon and meringue. So, it's a bit like a Lemon Tart and a Lemon Meringue mashed together. So, we'll see. Just turn that down to 60 watts. It's quite a tart lemon. If you can get the little tartness of the lemon. There's no taste of washing up liquid, which is always a plus with a lemon for me. See, I thought the meringue was going to overpower the biscuity base, but I'm getting more of the bis biscuity base than all else. So, yeah. Um, I like that one, guys, but we'll come back and tell you all about it at the end. But we'll move on to the next one, which will be the blueberry muffin. So, I'll re -wick, come back, and we'll crack on with that one. Always way, trying to hurry up and do something, you get a phone call. <laughs> you wouldn't know that because obviously I stopped the video, but yeah. Anyway, so we were with the blueberry muffin, which is a blueberry muffin, and it's meant to taste like a moist blueberry muffin. Blueberries are there straight away. The muffin's a little bit faint. Let me put a bit more liquid in there. Tell you what, let's crank it up a little bit. Give it 75 volts. There you go. Just want a little bit more power. Yeah. It's a it's a moist blueberry muffin. I don't generally tend to eat blueberry muffins much, but it's not bad. And the next one we've got is a blackberry crumble. Well, this one's meant to be a buttery base, so obviously blackberry, and there's meant to be like a nice tangy filling to it. So, what I'll do is the usual. There we go. Ooh, I like that one. No. <coughs> sorry, <coughs> sorry, guys. Still recovering from a bit of flu. Um, not that I didn't like the others, but that one, wow. I wouldn't have said tangy. I wouldn't have said a tangy filling. I'd have said it's quite mouth watering. See, with tangy, I, I I don't always get sour with the idea of tangy. I get like um, the idea to me is something tangy is a little bit tang tangy on your tongue. This doesn't taste tangy to me. It tastes like a really nice fruity blackberry, and the crumble's just right. It's not too overpowering. I like that one. So I'll definitely remember that one. So next one is Smurfberry. And this, is, I believe, is a blueberry with a hint of sour and cream. So this one's going to be interesting. Well, be a sec. Ah. Oh my God, where the fuck have you been all my life? I know I get excited about juice, guys, and you've seen me say, oh, this is great, this is great. Anyone that knows me knows I've been looking for a really nice... Sour gummy sort of situation like a sour. This is like a blue gummy worm. I love it. 
I, I really do. That is my favourite so far. I mean, don't get me wrong, the blackberry combo were nice, but wow, that Smurfberry. I've got a feeling after this review, this will be what's going back in here at the end, because that, my shit, I do know there's another one that's really nice that I have tried before, but yeah, Smurfberry, guys. If you're looking for a sour gummy, like a nice, like it's a blueberry gel, jelly gummy sour, And it's not too sour, it's just enough for you to know it's there. It's not like making my eyeballs turn inside out sour. You know, I mean, I'm guessing you'll know what I mean. So, next one we've got is a strawberry flump, which is a strawberry marshmallow. I don't know about this one. Um, never been a big fan of a marshmallow, but we'll see. Won't be a sec. It's getting a bit smoky now. I might have to open a window. Um, strawberry flump. So, like I said, strawberry marshmallow. Pleasantly surprised. Very pleasantly surprised. Not as bad as I thought it was going to be. Some marshmallows are very overly sugary sweet for me. But no, this is... I could vape that. I could vape that all day. I couldn't go out and buy bottles and bottles of it. It, it would get a little bit sickly. But it's not too sweet. But I think it's too much of it. But yeah, anything in moderation. I don't think that's bad at all. A little bit looking forward to this one because we've got a strawberry lemonade and it's meant to be fizzy. And I and you know, if you watch the channel for any given time, that fizzy juices do intrigue me. So I won't be sick. So we're back with the strawberry lemonade. Oh! <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> Jesus, I wasn't expecting that. I'm going to get another vape because that crept up on me. Wow, it's another one of them that just fucks with my mind. It's a fizzy strawberry lemonade. My mind's telling me there's bubbles in my mouth even though there's not. That's fucking genius. That is genius. If you remember the view, <coughs> it does shock you a little bit if you take too much of a drag. Um, if you remember the review that I did on the Nick Salts and I said there was something fizzy missing. Because when they say it's a fizzy drink, it should be fizzy. That is what I meant. So, I'm not going to mention the company, but if the company is watching that sent me the Nick Salts, this is what you need to be doing. You need to be putting the fizz. Once you put that fizz in, it's exactly what it says on the tin. Absolutely fantastic. Another really good vape. I'm trying to separate them into my favourites of what I would go out and buy. So, I apologise again. This is what I mean about the labels. But I do know what this one is. It is the Neon Slush. This one I know for a fact is really fucking good. And I would argue with anybody to deny that. I have tried this already. I have vaped some of it. But I had to save some which almost killed me. But this is the Neon Slush. Won't be a sec. Yep. Just as good as I remember. Now I've reviewed this. I'll smash this because... What I've been doing, I don't know how anyone else does it, if you do reviews or flavours that you like. Um, some people, and I have done it my sense, sniffing a bag of coffee, breathing out in between flavours, resets your palate so you give the next flavour its fair chance. I find vaping a nice lime like this. Neon Slush, it's a nice lime. Um, if I had any gripe, I'd put a little bit more coldness in, but that's just me because I like a really cold, you know, with slush. But it's really good. It smells fantastic. It is cold, a little tiny bit, unless that's just me because of the flavour I'm meant to be getting, but I get a little hint of something in there, but it's a really, the, the lime makes my mouth water and refreshes everything, a really good vape to vape in between flavours, really good all day vape, this I would vape bucket loads of it, it's not very often that I'll vape some constantly, and I'm a sucker for grape as people know, obviously this isn't a grape, uh, there is grape soda though coming up. But I've recently got a new grape. I'm just waiting for one more bottle to turn up. Because I've bought them. And I've bought three bottles. And in that review there's going to be three bottles of liquid. That I will highly recommend to anyone. And I do think there's some of these that I'll be highly recommending as well. I want to thank the owner of All Vapes for giving me these. For the purpose of the review. We had a really good chat. Really nice geezer. Some really good deals on his website. I will put a link in the description at the end. So I got the plug out of the way because I do want to plug this guy because he's a really nice guy and he has really, really, really looked after me, sending these out, chatted and stuff. He's a nice guy and they're, they're worth looking at. But 
we'll crack on because I don't want to waste any time. I'm trying to be as quick as I can. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, I think seven more to go through. I was wrong, guys. I actually have 14, not 12. So we've done seven. We've got seven to go. Hang in there. Make yourself a brew. Pause the video. Come back. Whatever you need to do. But these are really worth watching. All of them. It's worth watching. So I'll be back in a minute. And I'll be back with the Andromeda. If it looks like things have moved, guys, I'll knock my camera over again. This stupid camera arm I've got. I need to get a new one. So we are back with the Andromeda, which is a ripe blueberry, pomegranate and sour with a touch of cream. Now, I didn't think I was going to like this one, but it's actually nice. I think I like that sour. I think the sour thing I really do like. Blueberry, sour, touch of cream, pomegranate. I didn't think I want to taste pomegranate. I'll admit, I'm not the best when it comes to recognising some flavours. And pomegranate's not something I usually eat, but I can tell it's there because I know what the blueberry is, I know what the cream is, and I know what the sour is. So that only leaves. The last thing has to be pomegranate. I'd say the balance is just right for what I would like to taste because the blueberry and the sour is probably the forefront with the cream at the end. And the pomegranate kind of mixes in with the blueberry so we will crack on with the next one which is the grape soda this is the one guys is it going to be a good soda or not i do like a bit of grape <clears throat> grape soda mm. i'm not gonna lie <clears throat> it's not the best grape soda i've ever tasted as I said, there's a review coming up soon for another company. Thy Grape is on fire. The Chemical Clown is probably a little bit better than this one as well. It's the first one that I've been a little bit disappointed in, but that's probably just because it's not the grape. It's probably a white grape. I prefer the black grape. Whatever it is, it's not a bad vape. And it does taste like a grape soda. The, the difference I'm trying to make out is <clears throat> you've got like a grape soda and just normal grape soda. Now, I don't know if any of us ever tried that KA and they do a black grape soda. I think the black grape is the flavour that I crave and really enjoy. This is maybe more so a white grape or a purple grape. You're not, I'm not sure. But it, it's just not... It's not a bad grape. <clears throat> By fast food imagination, imagination, it's not a bad grape. I've just had better. Sorry. Um... But that's my opinion. Um, I know that the owner will be watching this. Um, it's the first one that I'm a little bit disappointed in. And it's just because I've had a better grape. That is all. Um, whether that's because I've been spoiled, I don't know. Um, the next one, a <clears throat> bit reserved for this one as well. Trouble bubble. It's a bubble gum. I'll tell you what I want to taste when I come back. Right. <clears throat> the age I am. I remember a bubble gum when I was a kid. Little blue wrapper, purple yellow writing. When I hear bubble gum flavour, that's what I want to taste. That is the bubble gum. It's pretty damn fucking close. That is not a bad bubble gum. It's not quite exactly what I was, but obviously it's not meant to be. I mean, it's not, it's not sold as that, but it's. Almost there. It's almost perfect for me, is that. I really do like that. So, <clears throat> the next one is the Blue Slush. I'll re it, come back, and I'll let you know what I think about that one. So, <clears throat> back again with the Blue Slush. Mmm, that's nice as well. I'd say that one's a little bit more colder than the lime. Not sure why, it just seems to be a little bit more colder than the lime. Just a touch. So yeah, it's not bad, not bad. It's a middle of the road. Not a bad slush. I mean, that's just because blue slush isn't really something I vape a hell of a lot of. But as a blue slush, yeah, it's good. Uh, drumstick. Been looking forward to this one. Meant to taste just like the drumsticks. So, one bit a minute.
I'm going to say before I take this is holy shit. You know when you're putting the liquid on, you're hitting the coil up. That smell is absolutely to die for. This is going to probably sound like slack as a bag of knackers to anybody. I don't think it tastes exactly like the drumstick. Well, it tastes like the drumstick bar, which is going to sound daft because it's the same fucking thing, one in a bar, one in a stick. But I always found that the, I preferred the bar to the stick, and maybe that's just subconscious because it's not on a stick. But yeah, it is exactly what it says on the tin. It is a drumstick. And I'd say a pretty damn good one as well. That one is definitely nice. Some good flavours here, some good flavours. There's some that are okay, there's some that, yeah, but a lot of these are really damn good. I've got to say, this is probably another company that I would highly recommend. So the next one is Foddish Fruits, which is meant to be a raspberry, a blueberry, a blackberry, lemon, a very small hint of lemon, and cream. Won't be a sec. We're back with the raspberry Foddish Fruits. Hmm, not sure. I either really like it or I don't. It's Personal preference, I would have left the cream out. I would have left the cream out because the raspberry, the blueberry, the blackberry, the lemon, it's all very fruity, berry flavour. The lemon gives it a little bit of sharpness. Not a lot, just a tiny bit. Barely noticeable. I would have left the cream out. That's just personal preference. Without the cream, I reckon that would have been a little bit better. That's just my opinion. You guys might love it. So we're on with the last one. And I bet you think, thank God. It has been tedious. Not because of the flavours or the juice coming. Just, it's a lot of juice to do in one go, I know. But I've tried to keep it quick and simple. I wanted to get it out there. I wanted you all to see this before Expo. Um, to keep it fresh in your mind. That this is a flavour maybe you want to try. You might not find what you want from Expo. There's going to be a link in the description to pick these up. The price is very reasonable. So, last one is a Dragon's Blood, which is a strawberry, dragon fruit, and cream. Just hope the cream doesn't spoil it again. Well, it didn't spoil it, but I'd prefer it with that. Now, I have very rarely eaten a dragon fruit, but I'm guessing that's what I can smell, because that's definitely not strawberries or cream. I think it's the dragon fruit. Right. Last time, guys, I will be, well, probably not the last time for me, because I'll probably be re wicking and going back to that fucking smear spud, because that is amazing. But anyway, Dragon's Blood. Right, guys? Dragon's Blood. Now, I like the cream in this one. I think the cream balances really well. I'm getting, like, a strawberries and cream... But the dragon fruit, I seem to get the dragon fruit first, then like a strawberry and cream. And that's what lingers in my mouth, strawberry and cream. Another not bad flavour at all. Well, if you got this far, guys, well done. And thank you for sticking around. It has been a long one. Now I'm just going to totally go at hazard and fetch them back in order I think that I would recommend them in. Smurf Blood, Neon Slush, Strawberry Fizz Lemonade, Drumstick, Blackberry Crumble, Andromeda. Them, I were all, <clears throat> they were all put to the higher tier of what I'd vape. The Smurf Blood, I'd give a good 9 out of 10. I'd want to go 10, but... There is no perfect 10 really, is there? There's always something, but that Smurf blood, I would vape that all fucking day. In fact, I think I'll end up getting another full bottle of that. That'll be the one and the lime. Them two, good solid 9 out of 10, if not a 9.5. The lemonade, I'd give that a 9. In fact, to give them a 9.5, give that a 9, because it really surprised me. Drumstick, good solid 8.5. Same with the very crumble and the Andromeda. I wouldn't give any of them less than an 8. I would literally go and buy all those. I would buy them in a heartbeat. Then we get into lemon tart, which is a good flavour. Um, blue slush. The 
Black Forest Fruits. No, that, here with that cream. No. Dragon's Blood. And the Bubblegum. Lemon Tart, eight. Slush, seven and a half. Drag, um, Dragon's Blood. In fact, Uh, uh, there we go. Blue slush, then dragon's blood, then lemon tart. Blue slush should go to eight. In fact, I probably put that over there with those because I would probably buy that blue slush again. The dragon fruit, I would buy it. I wouldn't like buy it all the time. Like these ones here, I'd, I'd literally religiously go and buy because they are really good, especially the the top three. Uh, the dragon's blood, the lemon tart. Um, yeah, an eight, seven and a half, eight. The Bubble Trouble a 7. And then I would say the Blueberry Muffin. Uh, strawberry Flum. No, Blueberry Muffin. I'd give that a 7 as well. These two would get a 6.5 from me. No, a 6. Yeah, 6. The Forest Fruit just wasn't for me. The Cream I wasn't a big fan of. And the Flump. Um, and the Grape Sour I'd give a 5. I know it's middle of the road and it's a bit harsh, but it's just not for me that. It's not the sort of grape I like to vape. Now, out of these, was there any I wouldn't buy? I wouldn't go and buy the grape. I wouldn't buy the strawberry flump and I wouldn't buy the forest fruit. For me, them three, I, I wouldn't want to... They're not bad. If you like them sort of flavours, you'll like them. There's not been a bad flavour here, guys. There's not been one that's been like, oh, that tastes awful. It's just they're not for my palate. These four... If I fancy something different, I go and buy them. So, but these here, I will recommend them all day long. These seven here are my favourite out of them all. The Smurf Blood, please go out and buy it, guys, and give it a taste. And the Lime. Them two, I'll be, I really like them. I'll be getting them again. Same with the Strawberry Lemonade, I like that too. Now, the drumstick, the blueberry crumble, the Andromeda, and the blue slush, they're good, and I would go out and buy them, but I wouldn't go out and rush to buy them like that. These three, I would literally bend over backwards to go and buy some more, which I probably will do when these have gone. So, that's been the all vapes, guys. Uh, I have to say, I'm really impressed. Really big thanks for giving me the 14 flavours to do the review on. I'm impressed because I haven't found a crap juice within the whole line. I found these three that I personally wouldn't vape, but if you like... A forest fruit flavour, I could recommend that. It's just the cream was a bit off-putting for me. The strawberry flump, it's just one of them things I'm not a massive fan. It surprised me, it was nice, but I won't go out and buy it. And the grape soda, the grape soda is the only one that let me down. And it's not because it's a bad soda, and I'm not justifying it, and I'm not sticking up for the company. You know, if it was shit, I'd say it was shit. It's not a shit grape soda, it's just for me, I think it's more of a white grape. I could be wrong, but I do know I like that really dark black grape soda. And that's what I got from, say, Chemical Clown and this other company that I'll be doing a review on shortly. So, yeah, that's the reason why. But I have enjoyed doing it. Thanks for supplying them. It doesn't change my opinion, but I really have enjoyed it. I'm now going to go re-wick and stick that Smurf. Is it Smurf? Yep, yeah, Smurf Berry. That's going to be going back into my e-cig until it's all gone. And anyone that knows me knows I haven't been vaping a lot of, like, rebuildables and stuff lately. I have been using something different, which I will show you on another live. Um, another live, another video. But yeah, this has made me want to crack it back out, do a bit of uh, Smurfberry. Really did enjoy it. I'm not going to waffle, guys. That's about me done. That's the review over with. I apologise if you like pulling tea, because it was a little bit long. But I did try to keep it as short as possible. Um, if you liked what you saw, feel free to subscribe if you're not already. Leave a little comment. I always like reading them. All giveaways that have, have now been drawn will be getting shipped out on Tuesday. So hopefully they'll be over with you soon. And um, I do believe if you join into the Vape Vape Show on Friday on YouTube, you should find it with the Vape Vape Show. Um, there will be some juice going up for giveaway from myself um, they are raising money for charity um, if you can if you can go over and support them that'd be fantastic but that's about it for me and that's vader out i have been the vape invader i hope you've enjoyed yourself and i'll see you on the vape side